Hey guys, this is Eric who I'm back. And I'm going to be doing The Walking Dead today. They recently gave this away on Xbox Live. They gave away the whole first season. Which I've played the first episode before. But I've never played anything beyond that. I played the first episode of the second season also. So, I'm going to... I'm kind of stupid, so I'm going to need all the help I can get. But being that this is Halloween, I decided... I really wanted to do a full run-through of Spooky's House of Jump Scares, but I got no feedback on it. No one really seemed to want that, and it would have been difficult for me to do anyway. I've had a lot going on in my life here recently. Um, one of my close family members, my like, my direct family, you know, lives in my house, had cancer, and we just went through and treated that. And one of my children, well, actually several of my children, have been taking turns getting sick, staying home from school. It's been really hard for me to record from my computer or record at all. And recording from my Xbox is actually pretty easy. So I've been doing a lot of Xbox games here recently. And uh, I hope you guys don't mind. I played the first episode of this Telltale game and I actually liked it. It was kind of fun. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Resume game. You know what they say about reckoning? I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough? Any way of doing it. Bit, so. You being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? 
They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This Get other time... <laughs> That does not look like fun. to drag myself out that window. I need to drag myself out that window. Now, like I said in the Doom episode I put out yesterday, I tried to do some indie games for you guys, but they just broke while I was using them. I like a lot of the games that you can get on Xbox Live Marketplace. But some of them are less than... Officer? Less than top quality. I mean, they're fun and all. think he's dead, then why are you worried about being quick in front of me? No handcuffs. Officer. Holy shit! What in the hell? Get away from me! Where are you? Shit. Really? He wouldn't have decomposed that fast. I already looked at the cop. Do I gotta look at him again? Ah, oh, there's someone up on the hill. Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! No 
good. Watch where you're walking. Yeah, you're in trouble. Anyone is curious, yes, I am going to get back to the games that I've been doing on PC, um, Blue Shift, and all that, and all my games that I'm doing on the one. So I'm not giving up on those. It's just going to be probably another week before I can start recording on them again. Teacups with some bourbon, if I could. <laughs> That's an appropriate use for a little girl's teacup. Fill it with bourbon. Help! You really shouldn't be yelling, dipshit. leg the way it is. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! I wonder if anybody's home. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. around in here. Ouch! Unless that blood was really fresh, it shouldn't be slick. It gets sticky after a while. This place is been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Aha. Uh -huh. That's probably what's beeping. I'm not an intruder, but I am going to go through all the things in your house. Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Mm. There are Marshalls. three new messages. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Okay, yes, we got that. We understand. Message 
Dispatch 1, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. He's a zombie. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. There's zombie food. Oh, actually, the dad's a zombie, the mom's zombie food, probably. Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. They ain't coming home, little girl. Hate to be the one to tell you that. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, motherfucker. I fell and hit my head on a counter like that before. That right, shit yeah, hurt. We'll see you. You'll be seeing stars for a week. Give me the hammer, little girl. Um, okay. Man. Hi there. Did yeah. you kill it? I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No. But they get shot a lot. <laughs> You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. We can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. I've played this game before, and I think 
or I've played this episode before. I think the first time I chose to leave during the day and we found some guys needed help yeah, pushing, push starting their truck. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me. And we'll move as fast as we can. I don't know if they'll still need help with their truck now that we waited till night. I also don't know if the walkers are more active at night. I found the bastard. Are we going to die? No, I'm sure we're fine. Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that. We're friendly. There's a little girl here. Oh, this shit, is you're not one different. of those things. Neither of us are. Oh, damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Okay. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. You should be able to fix your leg up, too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were... Oh, shit. It's Chad. Let's go. Get into my car. Go! Now, when you leave here in the day, there's some guys in a truck. And they take you to that guy's farm. You help them, I think you help push start it or something, and they take you to this guy's farm, so there's not a cop there. And you end up meeting the, most of the major characters for this episode on the farm. And it's uh, Herschel Green's farm. So, it's Herschel's farm from The Walking Dead, so. So that's the barn of dead yeah. people right there. Sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Oh, I bet you Chet was Take probably the guy with the truck. If I left in the day, I would have helped Chet get out of there. And he would have brought me here. But since we waited till night, okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. And quiet as usual the past couple days. I, yeah, I bet it was him and Chet. But that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and uh, Chet, he got killed. No, you're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. 
It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another <laughs> displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we. Uh, She's a cute little parents. character. I like Clementine. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow. We gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. Now, the first time I went through here, Herschel it didn't believe like... me. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. My mom and dad. I think I gave Herschel the same answers, but he didn't okay. believe me the, when I came here. How far before. is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. He wasn't mean to me, but he he told me he didn't trust me and he'd keep an eye on me or something like that. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played episode one before. I can't wait to get to episode two and beyond because I've never done those before. Get up. There he is. He ends up becoming a major player. I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. <laughs> Not very nice, Ken. Word is, you were on your way to Macon. Well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Seems like those two are getting along. He seems like an all right dude. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. 
So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a That's good plan. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Dolphin? Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Hey there. Hey. Might as well go ahead and ask him about his son. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Might as well check in with these two. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. I can't talk to Katya. I'm not seeing Herschel anywhere either. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. Okay. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the bar. How you doing, Duck? Good. Drive the tractor. Mm -hmm. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> you know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Yeah, I I try to be honest when I go through this, but I don't know if that's always a good idea. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. 
But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. I've been on as honest as the answers will let me be with him. I didn't. I know what the character did, even though they've not said it yet. So I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. I've been as honest as I can. Be. Sorry, I like you, Sean. But I gotta choose between saving a little kid and saving you. I gotta save the kid. I got you. Throw this through. Now show up. Get this tractor off of me. Please help me. Please. Let me help him now. Maybe it'll play out differently. I don't want to let Sean die, but it don't give you much of a choice. I mean, could you let a little kid get eaten over an adult? Get out. Yeah, Herschel throws us off his farm for this. Get the fuck out of here! Oh, I don't know if choosing Sean would have made a difference. Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you... You didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! I'm sorry, Herschel. Even if I had helped Sean... I gotta go with this guy here. If I had ignored his son, he would remember that. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. You don't look friendly. Fuck! I can't remember. I think Glenn is in this one. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. 
Where the hell is your humanity? We're not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. I would common. take her to the God bathroom or... damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle him. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all boy. got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. Not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh. Jesus. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh, <it's hot. laughs> I knew that was coming. Good job. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, oh. Dad! Couldn't oh. happen to a nicer guy. I 
did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. All right, I was waiting for all those dramatics to be over with. Central High Tech State. Papers so that I could find a good place to stop years. off. I think I'd like to go ahead and stop off here. If you guys liked, let me know. Hit the like button. Thanks for watching. And I will pick up with the rest of this episode next time. Bye for now.